More new details tonight about the distractions inside a 911 dispatch center that led to a long delay responding to a woman's urgent call for help. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Coral Springs with new video and pictures from her almost deadly encounter. Carrie. That's right. Since this case came to light earlier this week, we wanted to see exactly what unfolded at this gas station. As this victim was driving her car out of the gas station one day in June when her car was shot. Tonight, you'll see the surveillance video as well as unbelievable photos that show just how close this woman came to being shot in the head. These photos show just how close a woman came to being shot during a random drive by shooting in Coral Springs last June. The photos show a bullet smashed through the Volkswagen's back windshield, traveled through the driver's headrest just inches from the victim's head, slammed into the steering wheel, leaving a hole, and hit the front windshield. The bullet wound up in the driver's lap. Amazingly, the driver was not injured. Coral Springs police provided this surveillance video that detectives say shows the crime. Surveillance cameras rolled outside a mobile gas station on University Drive, where the driver of the red Volkswagen pulled up to an exit and prepared to head north. That's when another car, a blue late model Mitsubishi Eclipse with its windows down, passed behind the Volkswagen. You can see the Mitsubishi highlighted. Police say at some point the person in the Mitsubishi shot at the Volkswagen. 911, what is your emergency? The victim called 911 immediately. Something shot through and hit the back windshield to the front windshield. It almost hit my head. The 911 call taker promised to send an officer right away. We got the officers already en route to you. But officers did not come. The victim called 911 twice more over the next 21 minutes asking for help before eventually driving herself and her damaged vehicle to the Coral Springs Police Department. It would take more than 30 minutes for the call to be dispatched to officers. The victim's attorney is furious. She tried to call 911. They didn't respond. She tried to call 911 again later to say, hey, where are you? I need help. And nobody responded. Police acknowledged mistakes and said the call was mislabeled as a suspicious incident instead of a shooting, which delayed the response. Two 911 call takers were eventually terminated, and a supervisor was suspended after it was found that she had a Netflix movie playing on one of her computer screens. But the victim's attorney said that discipline is not enough. We're not satisfied with that at all. We want to see justice for my client. We want people to know. We want this never to happen again. Police say they caught the suspect in the shooting, Kiriakas Manolas. They gathered this surveillance video and video from nearby businesses. They eventually arrested Manolas, and police say the crime lab determined that the bullet recovered from the victim's car matched Manolas's gun. Manolas has pleaded not guilty to the charges. The attorney for the victim tells me he's planning to file a civil lawsuit over the handling of these 911 calls. Live in Coral Springs, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.